Hey guys, it's Richard at Altfins with another market update. Today I wanted to uh, look at some trend trading strategies, specifically the moving average crossover strategy, <clears throat> which you can find on our new dashboard. If you scroll down on the new dashboard with the market highlights, you'll see some various market signals and custom filters that you can use as building blocks for your trading strategies. But the one that I'm going to cover today is the fresh bullish crossover EMA 12 and 50. This is something that we demonstrate and teach in our education course. Um, it's, a, it's a basic, very powerful trend trading strategy where we look at, we look for coins which have uh, a shorter term exponential moving average EMA cross above the slower moving longer term 50 day moving average. The 12 day moving average obviously moves and responds to price changes faster than the slow moving average and when the crossover above that 50 day moving average happens that can be used as a signal. In fact uh, if you look, look at the click at the question mark here you will find some additional information about this strategy and, and the specific trading rules which is buy when the EMA 12 crosses above the EMA 50 and then sell when the opposite happens or when the price crosses below the EMA 12 and there's more information tutorial as well as education video but let's go ahead and take a look at the coins that satisfy this uh, market scan so when we click at uh, click on see more we'll see all the coins that satisfy this criteria where the 12 day exponential moving average crossed above the 50 day exponential moving average within the last two intervals so that means in the last two days so it's a fresh crossover because we really want to catch these crossovers as early as possible to make sure that the upside potential it remains remains large. So um, here's the list. Among them is Avalanche, Dash, Synthetics, which is a well-known DeFi name, among others. We can look at the charts and confirm that indeed all of these um, have, well, USDC is obviously a stable coin, but let's look at the Avalanche here. You can see the green line here is the, the faster moving or faster changing EMA 12, 12-day 12 moving average versus the, the darker green line is the slow moving EMA 50 or 50-day 50 moving average. And as you can see, the crossover just happened a couple of days ago or a couple of days ago or so. Um, and, um, and so this could be a buy signal here. And um, similarly for Dash, here we already have seen a pretty significant or substantial move since that crossover, that crossover happened at around at around hundred and five dollars, and this the the price is now at hundred and thirty. So that crossover worked out quite well. Synthetics, uh, this one the change, uh, the price hasn't moved as much yet, um, and so this could be another opportunity if we take a look at this one, the bigger picture here six months and also I want to add a couple of other indicators the RSI as well as MAGD to look at the momentum all right so the crossover just happened right here uh, in the past, uh, the last crossover was a long time ago, so really this is the first crossover in several months and is indicative of changing trend for this coin. Uh, we went from basically a downtrend to sort of a sideways trend to now potentially an uptrend, a reversal in the trend. Um, I see a lot of positive bullish volume here. These green bars are basically uh, on uh, days when the price closed up and you can see the volume is, is high 
So there's a, a fair amount of buying here around these levels. Uh, the momentum is improving. And so um, I do like this situation. I think that it has potential uh, to upside potential to at least six, which would be about 25% from here, uh, potentially even higher if it breaks above that resistance. Uh, we can also look at the trends uh, for all these coins that we have in the results set. As you can see, the short-term trend for all of these is up or strong up. The medium and the long-term trend um, takes a longer, obviously, time to to uh, turn around, but clearly on a near-term or short-term basis, the trend is, has reversed for all of these coins. And so uh, we could be uh, still relatively early in capturing um, additional upside. Similarly for Avalanche, if we look at, if we look at the, uh, let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the chart there. Actually, let's go through the charts here and blow up avalanche chart at the momentum indicators RSI and MACD and extend the time time horizon to about six months maybe one year even let's take a look okay so there's been in the past I mean these crossovers like last year in August this crossover was a huge signal for a massive gains really for the next five months or so at the time it went from about 15 to as much as 140 so so these crossovers tend to be or can be an excellent trend indicator and in this case as well i would say that there's upside to at least a hundred dollars is where the next resistance level is uh, we can also take a look at the avalanche curated chart that we uh, that we internally produce here where we discuss some of the situations here here uh, we see that there was a, a bullish breakout from a symmetrical triangle and as you can see the next resistance zone is around hundred dollars so I think that's the near-term potential for upside from the current levels that will be about 20 percent so pretty solid gains um, but if we were to get into this trade based on the EMA crossover we would stay in that trade until the price dips below the EMA 12 again check out the description of the strategy in our dashboard uh, there's additional information that describe this strategy in detail uh, both with videos and education videos as well. I hope this helps uh, everyone with your trading. Good luck. If you have any questions, email us at invest.alfins.com.